benvenuti tutti. How are you, loves? Welcome. DWTD live today on Tuesday. Okay, sweethearts. I'm just rearranging. I had a little technical things. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> how are you, lovies? Hi, Dr. Lars. Hi, sweetheart. Doing our key lime pie, guys. Hi, sissy. It's key lime pie day. Old school key lime pie. Old school, old, old school key lime pie today. Hi, sissy. We're doing old school, but I don't have key limes because key limes are native of Key West and they're tricky to find at the best of times. Um, I was doing a little research on the key lime pie and this originated, hi Cheryl, hi Mo, hi lovies. This originated down in the Florida Keys sometime in the early 20th century. They're not exactly sure. They think one of the uh, gentlemen, the first millionaire actually from Key West, his uh, chef, her name was Aunt Anne or something like that. Aunt something, sorry, I just read about it on Wikipedia. Had made it for him. But where they think that also there's a few recipes in different places. Hi, Christina. Hi, Annie Lynn. We're making our fabulous key lime pie today. I have already made the crust. Brogan is watching. Hi, Mr. Brogan. How are you, love? Hi, Joey. I've already done the graham cracker crust because it had to set for 30 minutes and it had to cool, love. So I would love to have shown you how I did it. But unfortunately, I don't have enough graham crackers for two crusts. <laughs> you know how it is. I didn't have all the ingredients. So I did the crust first. Hi, Don. How are you, sweetheart? I have on my shirt. Hi, Bobo. Hi, Bobo. I have my shirt. See, Don sent me that beautiful gown because he said my shirt had holes in it. <laughs> That's why. So I've already done the crust. As I was saying about the key lime pie, um, that the conch divers, that, 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 that die for the conch, it's a certain type of a, it's like a fit or it's a shell. It's shell, a fit, it's a shell, shell and you can yeah. actually eat it. They make conch fritters. I've actually had them. They're absolutely amazing. They said that these divers may have come up with this recipe because this, the old school recipe did not have to be baked. It was done with sweetened condensed milk or evaporated or they had a certain type of milk on their boats because they didn't get back to shore often. So they had to have things with them that did not spoil. So sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, those type of things egg yolks, um, and the limes. So this was an old school recipe. Hi, Lisa Gwynn. Hi, sweethearts. Welcome to our fabulous key lime, but actual Persian limes. They're not key limes, but I have some beautiful Persian limes here. As you see, they've all been zested. I, I zested them all this morning. I have this beautiful amount of lime zest here, sweet peas. So I have a recipe actually that doesn't call for egg yolks. I was doing a lot of, um, different research, different recipes. Some have egg yolks, some are baked, some are just refrigerated. There's a great one by Ina Garden that she does that she freezes it for a couple of hours with the egg yolks in it and does not bake it. But this one I found and I'm just, I thought, okay, I have all the ingredients for this. Let's try this one. No egg yolks in this one because I'm sort of down on my eggs. So I've been using a lot of eggs lately. So I wanted to conserve the eggs, but I do have two fabulous cans of sweetened condensed milk. And it calls for a half a cup of sour cream, which I don't have, but I have fabulous, thick, um, whole Greek yogurt. This is whole, not non-fat or low fat. It's whole milk yogurt, half a cup. So I thought I'd try that instead. A three-fourths a cup of lime juice. I'm going to show you me squeezing the limes and the lime zest. And then our fabulous crust, which was just six tablespoons of melted butter, one and a half cups. Hi, Kim Stocker. Hi, sweetheart. So the crust is one and a half cups of graham crackers crushed up in the food processor. Uh, also a third of a cup of granulated sugar and six tablespoons of butter melted. You put it all together, press it into the pie form and then bake it at 375 for 10 minutes. Then let it cool for about a half an hour. And so that's what I've done because I wanted it ready to go. So here's our crust ready to go. So now all I have to do is whisk up the ingredients in the bowl, sweethearts. Can you see everything? Fabulous. So here we go. We're doing our sweet and look at this gooey sweet and condensed milk. I haven't used sweet and condensed milk in a long time. Mama, could you get me a spoon? Mama Laberti's in the house. I'm in the house today, guys. And mom, you can hear her today. <laughs> mom got some sleep, so you can hear her. So I'm using some, you either use a 28 ounce can of sweet and condensed milk, grazie mama, or two 14 ounce cans. All of these ingredients, loves, came from Aldi. This is all from Aldi. Oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness. And sweet and condensed milk is great. You can put it in coffee. They make a great Vietnamese or Thai iced tea you can put it in. It's fabulous. It makes great fudge. But you know what the real miracle of sweet condensed milk is? You put it on the stove. Yes, my heart. 
and you make a dulce de leche or a mojar, as they say in Chile, yeah. and you cook it over the stove for a few hours, and then you have dulce de leche in this can, in can. Yep. and you cry. You put that on some ice cream. Hi, Tina, how are you? Hi, sweethearts. So get all of that beautiful, delicious, wonderful, okay. sticky, sweet and oh condensed God. milkness. Okay, that so that's all it is. We just have two cans of this, lovies. So it's 28 ounces. Hi, is that stuff mom used to make the caramel? Yes, dulce de leche, manjar. You just put it on the stove, um, I think in like a water bath. Who is that, Allie? Allie. No, the, that's not Grand Grandma Cox's caramel. No, 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 she said, is it what you make with the caramel? To make caramel, the caramel, like dulce de leche. Yes, that's so, yes, it. That's, yes it. that's it, yep. Yes. Does she have on the hat? Yeah. Does she have on, yes, Lisa Gwynn, she has on the hat. See Hello, the hat? guys. She has the hat. You can't miss There's me. There's my, no. I'm not going to She has on the hat. By the deer hunters. She has the hat on, the deer hunters. I mean, it's not like we live out in Montana, guys. We're in Jersey. They're deer hunters. <laughs> they're, okay, Mom. I mean, we're in Jersey, near Pennsylvania, Jersey, but you know, there it is. Um, so here we are. There's our beautiful sweet and condensed milk. Hi, Kelster. We're making our fabulous key lime pie. Also a half cup of sour cream, but I have fabulous whole uh, milk Greek yogurt, which I thought would be really great. It's tangy. Joey says hello. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> now we're squeezing the limes. I have an old school squeezer here, guys. Old school juicer. This is old school. Now limes can be tricky. I don't know if I told you the story when I worked for a baker in oh, yeah. Brooklyn. Um, Susan, she, she runs fabulous bakery. Um, fabulous cookies and things and so little red kitchen bakehouse you can order cookies from them and so we would make lime bars and lemon bars and we did lime and lime is tricky to zest and it not zest but it's tricky to get a lot of juice out of uh, and we had an electric juicer but actually you know what i'm going to use mom where is that thing i'm going to use even something better because it actually works better this? oh no, no no that the thing that you squeeze that green thing Oh, this yeah, the greens. I'll show you what it is. Sorry, guys. It's a juicer. We got this at all the years ago. This, guys, this is off the charts. You put this in like this, guys. Watch this, and you squeeze, and you get all the juice out like this. I'm just gonna do it like right. Boom. It actually, it's hard, but it does work fantastically. Boom. See that? Hi, David. Hi, Uncle. Hi, David. Hi, Uncle David. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> Uncle David's on the in the house. So what you do is you squeeze the limes like this. Yeah, it takes some muscle, but you know, we're not going to the gym now, so we got to do it. Got to get it on. So this does it really well. So also if the limes are a little bit hard, you can put them in the microwave if you have a microwave. I had mine out at room temperature most of the day to get them nice and soft. You can also roll them around. But limes, limes and lemons, it takes some work. Lemons are a little bit easier, but limes, you need a lot of limes for juice. And I know when I saw this, you have one of these, Cheryl? We have one, yeah, oh, they're yeah. fantastic, loves. They have a yellow one for lemons that's a little bit larger. This is for the limes. So I'll just squeeze it right into this. I used to use an electric one, one of those kind that Ina Garden has. Well, yeah, but when you're doing a whole box of limes, <laughs> that takes some time. Yeah, but we would do that and zest them. So I zested, always zest the limes before you cut them in half, guys. A lot easier to do that, to zest it before you slice them, always says before you do it. I'm good, thanks, but I wish I could come out and see you guys. Yes, everybody has, I know everybody wishes we could come out everywhere, right loves? No worries, soon enough, that's it. Hi, Trisha Bay, hi Mark, how are you loves? Everybody's in the house today with our key lime pie. It is so delicious, it's gonna be great, I love lime juice. We need three fourths of a cup of fresh squeezed lime. Hope we have it. If we don't, you know what I'm going to substitute? I'm going to put a little lemon juice in because that's just how it's going down. Because actually key limes, uh, the color of them is not as green as this. That's why when you see real key lime pie, it's actually yellow and it's also from the egg yolks that it gets that yellowy color. So I'm hoping we have three fourths of a cup. <laughs> I, think, I think you may be good. Well, we might be there. I, I have my liquid measure here. Trying to zest after you squeeze them, it's even worse. Oh, yes, yeah, don't try to zest them now. Because <laughs> that's going to be a... Oh, you've done it, Al? <laughs> yeah. That's a big old mess. Thank you. Good. That'll be a big old mess. What I also do, just in case there's any seeds, but I don't think there are any in here. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're good. I'm going to pour this. Of course, I... See, this is not a great pour. I've now lost half the juice oh in this because oh. it's it stinks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, oh it's a terrible one, guys. Yeah, don't get this one. <laughs> 
Do we have it? I don't think so. Not quite. We're close. Um, Here you go. Okay, guys. So don't watch what I'm doing. <laughs> I have a clean thing. You, yeah. yeah, you just saw that. But you know, we're not in a, we're not in a pro kitchen. I do sanitize this with my antibacterial wipes. I know you're laughing at me. I know you are. But I don't have enough juice, which I knew I wouldn't because you need a lot of limes. And you need about 50 key limes. Because you have ever seen those? They're about this big. I know. Hello, Maestro Gregory. Are you watching today? Um, I may need a little bit more, Mom. Okay. Maybe please. one lemon. So I'm adding some lemon, guys, because I don't have enough limes. That's just how it's going down today, sweetheart. This lemon had basil on it. I don't think I'll do that one. <laughs> We're almost there. We're there. We have it. We're there. Three-fourths of a cup. Okay. We have it, babes. Okay. Three-fourths of a cup and a whole... A whole lot. Use lemon. I used a little squeeze of lemon, loves. I only needed a little bit. But that's how it goes down. And a whole lot of lime zest, sweethearts. Put all the lime zest in there. A good two tablespoons. I zested all those limes. So now we just we mix it all up with our fabulous whisk. That's what it said to do, to whisk it. It didn't say to do it in the um, no. KitchenAid or to use an electric mixer. Love the realness. <laughs> you know it's real because it's live, loves. I didn't pre-measure it. I wanted to show me doing it live. So I knew I would have been, I knew I was close to the limes. I was close. So we just whisk this up, sweethearts. There's no egg yolks in this one. Remember, this is the filling. This is it. So there's no egg yolks, but we still have to bake it. We still do bake this um, in the oven for 10 minutes or so at 350, sweethearts. And then I'm going to show you something fun. On top, uh, traditionally, sometimes it was meringue with egg whites. Hi, Deborah. How are you, sweetheart? The maestro Gregory's in the house. Fabulous. So as you see, I'm just whipping. Look at it. Look at that green zest in there, guys. That's what it's all about. The zest. Fabuloso. So, Mama, could you get me another spoon? Because you know what? I'm going to do a taste test. Of course. Taste go? test before it goes in. Hi, Chelsea. How are you, sweetheart? Thank you. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Patricia. How are you, dear? We're making our fabulous key lime. Actually, Persian lime pie. I don't have any key limes, but I had some really lovely limes and I zested it. Two containers of sweetened condensed milk. We have a half a cup, it's supposed to be a half a cup of sour cream. I'm using whole Greek yogurt, a half a cup. It's almost just as good. I think it'll give a little bite to it. I think it's gonna be delicious, wait for it. Mmm. It's fabulous. Fabulous. We're all family here, we're tasting it. Mama's tasting it. It's so good. Delicious, yeah. Yep. Very, very good. Yep. It may be not as rich because we don't have the egg yolks in it. No, it's not rich, which is nice. But it'll be nice. Yep. I think it'll be lovely. So now look, love, let's just look at the pour, pour the goodness mm -hmm. right in. It's going to be big. It's actually going to be bigger than the crust, oh. but that's all right. <laughs> it's okay. It's it'll be all right. There you go, baby. It's actually, because I did see the crust sort of go up the sides, but I didn't, I um, didn't really do that. That's okay, loves. Because then I'm going to show you, I'm going to whip up some whipping cream, but I wanted to also show you the fabulous, here we go. Look at this gorgeous pie, loves, and it has such beautiful zest. That's what I saw in the photo of the one they had baked, and I thought it was just fantastic. So there it is. I'm going to, oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you. I love lime. <laughs> I like it more than lemon sometimes. I love, um, what's the lime drink, guys? <laughs> my time, not my time. You know the lime drink. The one we've made with lime and mint. It's all gone. My brain's gone. Forget it. We never drank it. I've drunk it before. Mojitos? The mojitos. Thank you, Mother. My mom actually knows. Who doesn't drink anything? <laughs> so, um, mojitos. I love those. So, here's the pie booze. Putting it in the oven. I think I have seen the juice aisle. In the juice aisle, in the grocery store, they actually sell key lime juice for pie making. Yes, wow. You. Okay, yes, sweethearts. Good to know. Thank you. So, I'm going to put it in the oven just for 10 minutes to set it up. 4.30. At 3.50. So maybe at 4.30, we're going to yeah. take it out. Mojito, that's right, Lisa Gwen and Sissy. Mojitos, that's it. Boom, boom. So now, lovies, I'm going to show you the aquafaba. Everyone says mojito. I know it's mojito. The aquafaba is oh, what I'm at the, I, I've yeah, chilled. I'll, I'll grab it. Aquafaba is going to be the juice from garbanzo beans. It's the garbanzo bean liquid in the can. You just want one or two? I'll use one. One. I have chilled these in the freezer. <laughs> chilled the bowl. And the beaters. And, and the beaters. I have the beaters. Now I don't have a KitchenAid, lovies, because sometimes I think a KitchenAid would actually work better with this. But I think we're just gonna have to go rogue and try it with these. Aquafaba time. Aquafaba, it's the, 
Can you get me the liquid, Mama? It's in the blue can. It's in the blue cup. I've saved my liquid from garbanzo beans. I should be sipping, Lisa Gwynn. If I had a mojito, I don't know what would be happening on this live. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. Yes. Margaritas. Yes, I love margaritas. Yes. A good line. Margaritas. Fabulous, Uncle David. That's right, guys. So this is aquafaba. This is the liquid from the, uh, from the chickpeas, from garbanzo beans in the can. But make sure it's refrigerated. It has to be cold. And it turns into something that is, that is the similar to egg whites when they're beaten. Now, my sister told me that it, it does need cream of tartar. I don't have any cream of tartar to stabilize it. So we're going rogue here. We'll see if it works. Because also, I don't have a KitchenAid. And a KitchenAid with a really high speed in the beater, I think also you do need. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. So bear with me with the sound. And we're going to try it and whip it up. And we may even put a little bit of just powdered sugar in it. So hi, Mar hi, hi, sweetheart. Hi, my Elisa. How are you? We're making our aquafaba, which is going to turn into a meringue like this is the liquid of the chickpeas of your garbanzo beans. I saw this on the British Baking Show. I've seen it before. I may, I may put a little confectioner's sugar in. That's right. Yeah, that's it, there's. I'm getting it. But it's, it's working. I mean, I think it'll work. And actually, we could put this on the pie as a meringue and then broil it in the oven and get it like a lemon meringue pie and have a lime meringue pie. And this is vegan. I mean, it's fantastic. Um, it's not as stable, I don't think, as egg whites are. Cream of tartar is an acid, so maybe add some lime or lemon juice. Oh, really, Telster? Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you, Chef Kelly. So cream of tartar is an acid. Okay. I'll put a little bit in, a little lime juice for the for the heck of it. Thanks, Kel. CIA chef. CIA chef, that's it. Yep. Gosh, it's dark in here today, right? There's no sun. It's very dark and stormy. So we're it's working, guys. It's working. This is amazing. Whoever figured out aquafaba, the liquid from chickpeas, and decided to refrigerate it and then whip it up and turn it into meringue. I saw it on the British Baking Show. They actually made a, an entire meringue cake out of aquafaba, and it was amazing. They baked it, and it was very chewy and beautiful. So this is working. If the key is to chill the bowl, chill the beaters. Chill the bowl of the beaters and chill the aquafaba liquid. So it's, it's working, I and mean, this might work. We'll see. I don't know if it'll get as stiff as, um, it's a trip. Yeah, it's a trip. Can I put sugar in it, guys? You think I can put a little confectioner sugar in? Uh, we'll see. To make it sweet? <laughs> Who knows? We're trying it. I just want to try it out. We can all, we also have heavy whipping cream in there and I can just heavy whipping cream. I can make some whipping cream uh, up for the pie as well. So we'll see, but this is actually coming together. This is actually working. So let's see. I don't know if this is gonna be as thick. Um, the powdered sugar will help. Okay, I'll put some in, sissy. Okay, good, good it's thing. Six minutes, six minutes for the cake? No, for the aquafaba to get firm. Oh, it takes six minutes. So I'm gonna put a little powdered sugar in, lovies. You know I'm not measuring, I'm just putting it in. Add slowly. <laughs> All right, loves, I'm trying. That actually did help, thank you. I'm telling you, my sister Allie is going to have, she's an amazing vegan chef, all-around chef, in San Francisco. And she's going to hold a couple Zoom cooking classes. And I told her that she should add, hold a couple out here on Zoom, on Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to have some amazing recipes, chocolate, some great stuff, where I'll post it. You can sign up for her Zoom cooking classes. It's better. Oh yeah, guys, this is working. You're not going to believe this. Guys, look at this. You can't. It's actually working very well. Look at this, lovies. <laughs> Can you believe that chickpea juice? Can you fathom it? Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, you don't need cream of tartar either. Cream of tartar would work, but aquafaba takes time. Add slowly. Okay, babe. I'm going to try it just because I mean, yeah, it tastes, it does taste like chickpeas. It's not going to taste like egg whites, guys. You know, um, I'm going to put a little bit more sugar in slowly. 
Does it taste like egg whites? No. <laughs> but a little bit of sugar in. I'm such a mess. I'm such a messy baker, guys. You know me. But that's how it goes. I think it'd be nice to have zest of wine in here, too. Mom's getting the heavy whipping cream out. Because mom says if it tastes like chickpeas, she don't want it. <laughs> so there it is, guys. But I mean, it does work, guys. If you're a vegan and you want to try this out, and God knows it's low fat. Good God. I mean, you know, it's just the juice of a chickpea. It's fantastic. Can you give me a spoon, Mama? Thank you. Because I'm just going to try this, guys. I mean, that's getting pretty good, guys. I don't know if I'd hit it, put it over my head and it wouldn't fall out. No, that would fall out of my head. And then we'd have a real funny life, wouldn't we? So I'm trying it. I mean, <laughs> it's good, but it's a good experiment. It is, it is good to experiment. Here, Mom, you can try it. All right, I'll try it. Got the heavy cream going. We're going to try it. Mom's going to try it. <laughs> well, we'll see. If you're a vegan... If you're vegan, some yep, yep. brands taste more chickpea than others. Okay, okay. Allie. Okay. White beans are more neutral. Hi, Andrea. How are you, sweetheart? It's not bad. Mama said it's not bad. It's not bad, guys. It's not bad. And look at this. It's a gorgeous consistency. Look at this, lovies. Look at that. It's really fantastic. That's a gorgeous. It's really beautiful. And meringue. I mean, we could make meringue cookies with this. Yes, we could. We could make a pavlova. We could actually just put the whole thing on a baking sheet and bake it low and then put it in the oven. Yeah, we could. What do you want to do, Mom? Would you want to put it on, on the lemon on the on the lime pie? Mom would rather put heavy whipping cream course, on that pie. Of course, of course, of course, I would. I'll be honest. Yes, of course. White bean liquid. Okay, oh, sissy. Yeah. So white bean might be better. Okay, loves. So, but you know what? We can make a pavlova. We may actually. Okay, we'll I may actually put that on um, a baking sheet, guys. You know what I'm going to do? Silpat. On my silpat, and I'm going to put that out, and I'm going to make a meringue it's with really that. Not it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Mama bad. thinks no, that. So I have all my baking things under here. Here we go, loves. Here we go. So this is live, guys. I'm just making this up. When you bake it, the meringues, the flavor dissipates. Oh, okay. great. Thanks. Good. Good to know. You think it's sweet enough, Mom? I think it's great. Yeah. Okay, guys. Don't, don't, don't ask what I'm doing here, guys, because I'm, I'm free forming it, free, free styling it would be the word. And we're going to bake it. Um, I think I have to bake it low and slow. Kelly and Allie, maybe you could tell me what I could bake the aquafaba at, guys. Because I'm just going to do this as a meringue. Yes. I didn't pipe it. I didn't do anything cool. I'm just putting it like this. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll bake it, and Mom will have a big meringue. Look at this. Look, guys. <laughs> big meringue. So I'm going to bake that, and we're going to see how that works. Let's and then I'll show you guys. You could make an actual pavlova with this. They did that on the British Baking Show where you do this and then you fill the top with whippy cream and fruit and it's gonna be great. So we're gonna bake this. Guys, if you know what I could bake it at, I think it's probably around 200, 220, right, sweethearts? Bake it low and slow and then you don't take it out and you open the oven door and that's what gets the chewy texture of it. But look how, look at this. The fact that that's chickpea liquid is miraculous to me, that you can take chickpea liquid that you usually dump in the trash or in the sink and you can use it for something. It's very liquidy, so it does need to go in the in the oven soon. <laughs> and you look marvelous. Well, thank you, Andrea. Thank you, sweetheart. Never tried baking it. Yes, 250, Allie says. All right, sissy. All right, it's right. going in. We gotta take wait, the pie. I know, the other one's coming out. Come on, come on. I'm gonna take the pie out, guys. I'm still here because we're gonna do whipping cream. We're doing whipping cream, guys. Put this in for a minute. Okay, guys. Okay. You think it's been in long enough? I don't know. Here we go. It has, a, it has a set up, Chrissy. You know that. It looks pretty good, guys. It's not, it's not, it looks pretty it's good. Not it's been about right. 10 minutes. So I have I been flapping my gums for 10 minutes? Pretty much. Pretty much. Did you hear that? That was shade. You hear the, sh <laughs> you hear the shade? Shade. That was shade. As only mothers can throw. And you know it. Chickpea liquid. That's right. My mom's laughing. And I just made her a pavlova. Beautiful. So the pavlova's going in the oven. Chickpea liquid, yes, Maestro Gregory, that is it. We have it in at 250, making a pavlova. Just took out the beautiful pie. Now, guys, this lemon meringue pie, low and slow, that is the tempo, Beastie Boys. <laughs> you guys are hilarious today. So, look, guys, there's the key lime pie. 
oh yeah, it's gonna be off the chain. <laughs> Aunt Lynn throwing shade, mom's throwing shade. You know, I yeah, yeah, I know, Maestro Gregory, you heard the shade. M machete shade, mama does that best. We call mom the machete. My mom's name is Pam, Pamela. And instead of Pam, like her name, I call it passive, aggressive, machete. Pam, that's what we've done. Hi William, how are you sweetheart? Yes, we call it the machete shade. Mom just threw shade, it's all right. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> That's how we're going down. So now we're gonna make whipping cream, which we can whip up and we're gonna keep it in the fridge. You can actually keep, whip it up and, it'll, it, you, and you get it to stiff peaks and you can keep it in the fridge and it'll stay and then boom, we can put it on top of our beautiful pie. Once our pie is set, sweethearts, uh, but it has to stay out here and cool. I'm just gonna put it under here. And now I'm going to make up my fabulous whipping cream. I have to just make sure the beaters are in the correct spots. That's it. And here we go, loves. Um, you know I never measure anything. Just tell me when you Yeah, that's stop. fine, Mama. Yes, I just got this whipping cream, guys. It's all part of the brand. That's right, Gregory. What do you think, Boo? That's, that's great. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Ah, there we go. Here we go, guys. Now we're making whipping cream. And we're going to put some confectioner sugar and vanilla in it. It's going to be great. Then we'll refrigerate it and we'll top our pie with it. Woo now I wish I had a piping bag to make it look cute. I don't have a piping bag, but you can make a piping bag out of um, a big storage bag, like a freezer bag. You put, you put it all in and you cut the corner of it and you can pipe out of that. I don't know if you want to see me do that. <laughs> it could be a big old mess. Because um, I'm not a decorator. I, I, I have a good eye, but I'm not one who sort of makes all the cakes and things look cute. I'm not the best piper. I have another practice. I know Kelly's a good piper. I know my friend Mike Bird is a brilliant piper, um, who's a brilliant pastry chef. And when we get back to normal, he's coming here and we're making stuff, because you're gonna lose your mind. You're losing your mind now. We're making a print, you wait till you see what he does. I can't even, it's insane. So we're just whipping up our heavy whipping cream. Once we get it a little thicker, I'm gonna put in uh, confectioner sugar and a little vanilla, and it's gonna taste delicious. And then we're gonna put it on top of our pie, and it's gonna be off the charts. It's gonna be off the charts. The pie has to set up, guys. A key lime pie has to be refrigerated and cool, so that's what it's gonna do. But I just wanted to show you me making the, the whipping cream, and then I'll show you what everything looks like at the end. And I may even try to pipe it. You know what, I may even do it. I may, I may pipe it on top of the piping bag. We'll see, I don't know, I've never done it, guys. <laughs> But um, I know you can use a big um, freezer bag and put it in and cut the end of it on, off. But it's not gonna be like a really cute, sort of fancy tip looking thing. But yeah, you can use that. Mama got it. So here we go, guys. Whipping up our whipping cream. Takes a little bit of time, but I'm excited about that aqua baba, guys. It's gonna be off the charts. I think it's going to be a great meringue. We'll see how it turns out. Because we could also make a pop logo with it. Woo! Wouldn't that be delicious? Heavy whipping cream and put some fruit on there. We have some beautiful uh, frozen fruit. You could use that. Berries, peaches, whatever you have. We're getting there, guys. It's getting there. The key is to chill the bowl and chill the beaters. Now, I'm being lazy. I could have done this by hand. <laughs> I have before. And it works well. It works well. So here we go. Just get the air in it. And then after I have this off, I'm gonna tell you something else today that I got. It's gonna be off the chain. It'll be great, love. I think now we can add the sugar, Mama. Take a little bit, okay. A little confectioner sugar. Ellie okay. says add it gradually, okay. but you know, okay. there it is. Okay, I'll add it. There we go. Oh, yes. Have you guys been cooking? Have you made anything lately? Have you made anything at all, of? I know you have. I know Cheryl Burkle uh, made the most astounding Kentucky, what was it, like a Kentucky um, bourbon cake? I don't know, with pecans. It looked amazing. It looked amazing. We put a little vanilla in there. That's great. Ooh, this is going to be good, guys. You're going to love it. Here goes the vanilla in, mm -hmm. the liquid gold. Oh yeah, that's there it, it is. That's, it. that's, that's it. all mom will allow because we're at the bottom of it. <laughs> it's all good. 
Oh yeah, now we have the piece. Don't want to go too much past your butter. Add butter. We're going to trace it for the sugar ratio. More sugar? Oh, yes, more sugar. More yeah. sugar, Mom yeah. says. Yeah, yeah, more sugar. For sure. Yeah. If you don't like it too sweet, just yeah. Yeah. Kentucky Crunch Cake. That was Ooh. right, Cheryl. Kentucky Crunch Cake. Um, Mom's sticking her finger and she's going to lose a finger. <laughs> How is yeah. it? I could always, I always could Mom could have more sugar. She could actually, see this no, bag? No, I could not. See the bag? No, I would not. She could have that whole bag. No, and I could not. Cool no, I, no, I could not. No, I'm and not. you know it's true. My mom's Scottish and she likes the sugar. So, that's it. There we go. I think we're good, guys. We're good. Stiff peaks, I'm sure. That's stiff peaks or else it's going to be butter soon enough. It is very stiff, yes. So we take these out. I know everybody wants to lick the beaters. Who's licking them? Oh yeah, the vanilla makes it. Yeah. The vanilla, you have to put the vanilla in it, guys. Vanilla extract makes it. Yeah, you're it. Look at me, I'm a mess. <laughs> it's hilarious. So look, here we are, loves. Boom. So we can, you can pipe with this. This may be a disaster. I can put this in here, pipe it on this pie, and it'll look a, a fright. A fright. But I just don't know because I don't have really. Ooh, it's still warm. Oh yes, it's still warm. So I'm afraid. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna pipe it now, lovies. Yes. I may try it later because the pie's still warm, and if I pipe it, this is what it's gonna do. It's gonna go, and then we'll just have a pool of heavy whipping cream. You see, Mama? Oh, there you go. I just want to try. So it's very nice, very stiff whipping cream. I think it's very good. We could keep it in the ice box for a bit. Mmm. I'll put it in the ice box. Great. Until the pie is ready. <laughs> My sister said, Mama did a finger swipe so fast it was like a snake. It was snake-like. Oh, what a day we're having today. Sometimes you need those days, right, guys? Yeah, those days. Yeah. Sometimes you need them, especially now. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, because it's getting rough. <laughs> We've been in the house for six weeks together. <laughs> yes, and so, oh, there it is. So, loveys, there it was, our fabulous key lime, Persian lime pie. It's still warm, guys, but... It smells delicious and we really need it to set up and we need to put it in the fridge. Um, your mama is swift like a ninja. Yes, that's right, ninja mama. <laughs> you got it, guys. But what I did want to tell you, lovey, is today I had the most astounding experience. Um, yesterday, because I, I needed a few items and I was really craving some organic kale and some apples and certain things. And there's an amazing coffee shop over in Easton, Pennsylvania, which is right across the river from us called Tucker. It's an Australian coffee place, which is amazing. They do amazing baked goods, coffees, lunches. They've had to close. They're doing a lot of double dipping. Yes, I am. I, yes, I am, Uncle David. I'm double dipping like in Seinfeld where he double dips the chip. I did double dip, but it's only myself, Mama, and Lars, so it's okay. I mean, I may be giving the pie away, so, you know, but it'll be all right. I'll give it to family and friends. <laughs> double dips. So what I did, so I was talking about the Tucker Coffee Place, They've now turned into Tucker Provisions, where they sell some fantastic products, organic fruits and vegetables. I got the most beautiful kale. Darn. I got some, also, they, they sell baked baking essentials, dark brown sugar, old school domino for dark brown, hard to find, hard to find. Got that. Beautiful apples, some beautiful fingerling potatoes, some beautiful French lentils, um, a beautiful sourdough bread that I got. It's right here, I'll show you. That they bake themselves there. It's all wrapped in this beautiful, look, sourdough bread that they make themselves. Um, you can still get coffee there. It's in Easton, Pennsylvania. You order everything online. I ordered it all last night. Just click, click, click. You pay, and then in the morning they text you when it's ready, and you can pick it up on from Tuesday to Friday or Tuesday through Sunday between, I think, 9 and 5. They text you when it's ready. All you do is pull up right to the door and then they have this amazing uh, window and a cute sort of awning, sort of tent uh, out there. And they put the everything in an old school box. Everything's in old school paper and brown paper bags and um, pick it up and everybody, I mean, I had my mask on and gloves, they're masked and gloved, but they're doing this as a way so their employees can still work and they're providing this great service. They have organic eggs breads, uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar can be had if you buy 25 yeah. pounds. Yes, true, Kelly. You buy 25 pounds at a time. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's because you bake, really bake. Um, and so it's a great, 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 great service. I mean, Lars and I were just blown away. We went there and picked everything up this morning, 
great products, wonderful people. Just give it to you through the window in an old school box. I mean, it was just fantastic. So we got some real, I got some nice tomatoes actually, garlic. Um, I got a zucchini actually, and some the beautiful lacinato kale, the old school, not the curly kale, the lacinato, the Italian kale, beautiful organic kale. Uh, so they have a lot of great things. It's Tucker Provisions, it's on Facebook, and you can check it out if you're local and then can go pick it up. But I just wanted to give them a shout out because it was just brilliant, great, great products. I was thrilled. They have meats, they have Australian lamb, filet, off the charts, brilliant. Uh, so check that out um, because I know sometimes when I order from Aldi, it can be a five or six day wait, but this way they have milk, they have cream, they had buttermilk actually, so I was able to get that. If I do some buttermilk, maybe I'll make buttermilk chicken or I'll make buttermilk biscuits. Ooh, we'll do that one day, yes. sweethearts. So I thought that would be, uh, but it's a great way to get some produce and some really great things if you need certain things. Uh, they have a lot of it, tomatoes and canned tomatoes and a lot of different things, it's fantastic. So check that out if you're local. So there we are, loveies. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yes, 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 yes. Lars and I, we can go take our walk. Um, so just wanted to check in with you, loveies. So thanks so much for joining us on our fabulous key lime, Persian lime pie today, old school. Is that Washington Crossing PA or New Hope? Actually, sweetheart, we're above New Hope and Washington Crossing by about, we're in Easton, Pennsylvania. I mean, I'm in Phillipsburg, New Jersey, but we're right across the river from Easton, about three miles. I can literally walk across the border. So it's in Easton, Pennsylvania that the Tucker Provisions is. It's a fantastic place, really fabulous. I posted it on my Facebook page as, as did Dr. Lars, just fabulous. So there we are, sweethearts. Fabulous day, gorgeous pie. I know, we have so much pie. Who am I gonna give this to, guys? Because I can't eat all this. Are you kidding? No, <laughs> no. Um, mom, mom, just put her hand up. She's gonna be eating it. That's right, Dr. Lars. Jules and Grazi. Jules and Grazi. We're giving it away. We're gonna give it away. We, put, we throw it on people's porches. My mom's friend, Mrs. Ladd, is gonna get some. So it's gonna be quite lovely. I have to have, a, I haven't made this. I think this is the first time I've ever made a key lime pie or a Persian lime pie, I should say. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us, Taylor Lovies. So I'll see you tomorrow. Not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I could do the lacinato kale. I'm gonna look up some recipes from some lacinato. I have some apples. I could do a fabulous lacinato apple and kale salad with walnuts. Nice. Be beautiful. Hi, Heather, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us. We just finished our fabulous key lime, Persian lime pie. Look at all that zest in there. Yes, gorgeous. So thank you, Joey. Thank you, sweetheart. So thanks for joining us. I'll see you. Ci vediamo domani. So stay safe, stay put, stay cooking. So thank you, loves. It's so much fun to come in here every day. And I have all my friends coming in. It's like we're all together. It's fabuloso. And uh, I know my sister is going to be doing a Zoom cooking class, probably from San Francisco. She's going to set one up on the East Coast. Uh, so it's really great. I'll let you know all about that. Uh, she'll do a lot of different recipes. I'll be in on that, be part of it, probably just you know, participating. But it might be a fun way to get everyone together if you wanted to cook at the same time. Great to see you, Uncle David. Thank you so much, loves. Thanks for stopping by today. So I'll see you tomorrow, sweethearts, with new recipes, new fun. Um, I'll do some big veggie stuff. Maybe I'll do some vegan stuff or I'll do biscuits. I'll have to dream it up, come up with it all. So have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Remember to check out my, inst my I have Instagram. I'm doing Instagram. I'm going to do lives on that now because I because everyone's saying do it on there. Uh, Facebook, check out my YouTube channel, sweethearts, and subscribe. We're up to 152. I'm on the way to 250. 250. Trying to get to 1,000. Actually trying to get to a million, but that takes like 12 years. <laughs> Let's try to beat that. Um, and then also uh, my Patreon account which is a fabulous artist platform where you can sponsor an artist and the videos and the music that they make as a way to sort of help them out uh, with their videos and, and the food and all that kind of thing. It's a great, 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 great thing. Uh, I have some wonderful Patreon subscribers that are helping me out, so it's great. Check it out. It's a wonderful platform for artists, for YouTube, people that do videos, people that do uh, music, arts. It's fantastic. If you don't know about it, I'll post a link about Patreon on my Facebook page, loveys. So thanks so much for today. Ci vediamo domani. Tanti abbracci, abbracini. Ciao, sweethearts. Ciao.